Hi, I'm Dr. Margaret Collins-Hill with Consults in Hypertension in Wilmington, North Carolina. The question this evening is how you can reverse the effects of high cholesterol. We all know that high cholesterol, as well as diabetes, high blood pressure, cigarette smoking, and a number of other conditions can lead to atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis causes heart attacks, strokes, and other vessel diseases. Once you've had a heart attack or stroke, you can't reverse the effects of that because you've scarred down tissue that used to function. However, that doesn't mean that it's too late to lower your risk factors for further trouble. Lowering cholesterol, stopping smoking, controlling diabetes and high blood pressure, losing weight and seeking exercise will all reduce your risk of having further heart attacks, strokes, or vessel diseases later. So it's absolutely worthwhile. The ways you can lower your cholesterol are with diet or with medication, depending on what your doctor says you need, particularly after you've had a heart attack, stroke, or other event like this, your cholesterol goals have to be set lower. Although someone who has no other risk factors may be satisfied with a bad cholesterol or LDL of 160, after you've had a heart attack or stroke, it really needs to be down to 70. In general, people need medication to help them with this goal. But if you follow a healthy lifestyle, you're gonna be healthier overall, and so it's still worth doing. So, to restate, there's no way to reverse some of the damage of atherosclerosis, but treating atherosclerosis may prevent further trouble down the road.